What if I tell you that you could get a camping stove and a full cooking set for just 20 bucks? If you're here, chances are you've already found this deal and now you're wondering whether it's a good choice or not. Well, in this video, we'll find out. Hi there and welcome to Hike Much, a channel where we review outdoor gear and talk about other things related to hiking and camping. If you are interested in that, make sure to click the subscribe button to not miss out on any of our future videos. But for now, let's get right into the review. I purchased this set a few months back on Amazon for about $20. Essentially, it's a cheap Chinese set from Amazon. This particular one is branded by Odolan, whatever that means, but if you take a closer look on Amazon and other outdoor gear stores, you'd find this exact set under many other different brands. If I'd have to guess, it's probably manufactured in a single factory and then sold under various outdoor gear brands. I've been using it for a few months now, on my day hikes and overnight hikes. In total, I think I've used it for about 10 or 20 times, so my review will be based on that. But now I'll show you what exactly comes with this set. The set comes with a small camping stove, which fits inside this container, a large 800 millimeter cooking pot, a small cooking pot that's about 300 or 400 milliliters, a stainless steel cup, an attachment to the gas canister, which attaches at the bottom and makes everything more stable, a foldable fork, spoon, and a knife, and a fabric mesh bag that keeps everything in place. In a packed state, this set measures at 6.5 inches or 16 centimeters in height and 5 inches or 13 centimeters in diameter. The total set with everything included weighs about 560 grams or 20 ounces. However, in reality, you won't be using all of it. Personally, I never bring the stainless steel cup. In my opinion, it's too large. Another thing that I leave at home is the foldable knife. Essentially, it's a really bad butter knife that has no use in the forest. Without those two things, the total weight is reduced to about 440 grams or 15 ounces. The main reason why I don't ever bring the stainless steel cup is because if you take it out, you can fit a regular 410 milliliter gas canister in the pot, which makes everything fit inside this fabric mesh bag that comes with the set. Now, because this set is so cheap, obviously the quality on everything doesn't look too good. Although I do have to say that uh, this camping stove attachment feels pretty durable. Next, I wanted to talk about the eating utensils. All of them feel very cheap and not very well made. In another review, I saw a picture where actually there was rust on them, which means that they aren't made from stainless steel. Personally, I'd switch this set with a two-in-one plastic fork and spoon, which would be much lighter and more durable. Another thing that I'm kind of worried about is the handles on the pots. They, both of them feel very fragile. So far, I haven't had any issues, but I could potentially see me breaking them in the future. And lastly, I wanted to talk about this thing, which I already managed to break. It's an attachment for the gas canister, which is, attaches at the bottom. It's a very tight fit, and when you're taking it off, you have to be very careful not to put too much pressure on these legs, because I already broke one of them. But other than that, this set doesn't feel that fragile. If you'll be careful, I'm sure this set will last you for years. And now I'll show you how to use this set. You start off by taking out the gas canister and attaching the plastic attachment to the bottom, just like this. By the way, you won't need to use it if you're using it on a level ground. For instance, over here, I think I could live without the plastic attachment. Before you attach the camping stove to the gas canister, you need to check that the valve is fully closed. You do that by turning it clockwise until you're not able to turn it anymore. Now it's time to attach the camping stove to the gas canister. You do that by screwing it on on top until you can't hear any gas leaking through. Just like this. After that, you need to unwind the four legs and unwind these things over here. Now you're basically all set. All you need to do is turn the valve counterclockwise until you hear a hissing sound and press the lighter button over here. And you're good to go. What I'll do now is fill the pot full of water, turn on the camping stove and show you how long it takes to reach boiling temperature. 
Okay, so it's full now at 800 milliliters. Let's turn it on. And to reach the boiling temperature quicker, you can use the smaller pot as a cover for it. Okay, so I can hear that it just started boiling, as you can see over here. The timer is at 11 minutes and 30 seconds. Obviously, this isn't the most efficient camping stove out there, but well, it does the job just fine, so what can you do? And now let's get into my final verdict on this thing. Let's start with the pros. Obviously, a huge pro is that this cooking set is so darn cheap. If it was made by a well-known outdoor gear brand, it would probably cost $80 to $100 for everything. Another pro is that you essentially get everything that you need while camping, so you don't have to purchase anything in addition to this set. And lastly, I'm a big fan of the camping stove that comes with this set because it works flawlessly, it feels really durable, and I've seen reviews on this exact igniter by several long distance hikers who said that this igniter has lasted them for many, many years without any problems. But now let's get into the cons. Obviously, this set isn't that durable. I already broke the legs of the gas canister attachment, and I'm worried about the durability on the pot handles and the eating utensils. With this set, you have to be careful not to break anything. Another con is that it's made by an unknown brand, which means no support and more production defects. But in my opinion, that doesn't really matter too much for a cooking set that's this cheap. When considering the weight factor, this set isn't really that far off from some of the more premium lightweight options. Without the cup and the knife, this set weighs only 440 grams or 15 ounces, which really isn't that much. Personally, I think that this cooking set is a really good deal, especially for beginner hikers on a budget. If you're just starting out, you don't need to spend $40 on a camping stove, $40 on a titanium pot, and another $20 for lightweight eating utensils. This set will do the job just fine. I've linked out to this set in the description of this video, so if you do decide to get it, you can use that link for checking it out. It's an affiliate link, which means that we'll make a small commission on your purchase. Also, if you like this video, make sure to click the subscribe button for more hiking and camping gear reviews, just like this one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.